Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is December 4th, 2019, and what a great day today. Miss Vegas is going to give us our watch list. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys, you know, there's so many that we could talk about, but I just want to really talk about uh, Shopify, Goose, and Roku. So we will start with Shopify. I mean, this has been running nonstop. Um, you know, there was some talk on it earlier today that Shopify has been approached uh, for a potential buyout. Uh, but, you know, Shopify is definitely not going to be selling the company or the business, uh, which is actually good. Um, I wouldn't want to see a Canadian company selling off somewhere else. Uh, it's been a great Canadian success story. Um, but Shopify has had a great run, especially like phenomenal numbers came from the um, Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday. Uh, so many companies use Shopify platform. So congrats to so many Shopify traders. I mean, so many people did so well on this and it's just been a beautiful run. So Jim, let's hear about shopify's chart all right well we've definitely been bullish on it this week we called it out <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> called it out in the room it had a real good pullback on monday as you can see and let's pull up the 20 day we have a year high of 409 i got a target for 390 maybe a little bit higher it could probably hit that 400 dollars range <clears throat> we're going to pull up the 20 day And I'm going to get rid of some of this level two and stuff. After hours, we're at 371.55. We did pull a double top resistance today, and it fell back to my third support level. And then I have a red line strong buy at 365.15. I took this trade right out of the gate today, and oh, what did I do on this? I think I did pretty good in a way. And we're going to pull up the daily one minute and we're going to try to find the support on this trade so we definitely have a breaking ascending triangle right here as you notice right out of the gate this morning with that big pop this morning and i noticed the ascending triangle and then she started running on up but I, by this time i already got in the trade early in the morning and took it and rolled it up to the top of this resistance at 365 and then when that Sending triangle broke out. Vegas was still calling it out in the room, going higher, going higher. Yesterday we were at 320.01, so it's a $50 gain, you know, mind you, in just 24 hours or two days. And that is a little concerning to me. As we did try to break a double top, we couldn't do it today. And it did pull back and squeeze on the 200, the 34, and the 9 EMA at close. So I'm going to magnify this up a little bit. I don't want to see it go no lower than this 365. That's going to be my low bottom line support. That's going to be where that resistance was on that ascending triangle right in here that I'm showing. And then maybe we can probably get in right around here for your second support right at 367.71. And then that first one is where we touched down many a times today. And that's right here at 370.08. So the resistance that we're going to have to break is going to be that double top if this decides to run up to more. There's a lot of people excited about this stock. It's being watched by the fat cats. So keep a good eye on it. we got to break that resistance of 376.91 to bring it up here to around 380. And that's going to be my next resistance at 380 with a low support of 365.15. And the next one we're going to talk about is one that I called out, we called out, Vegas and I called out on the Sunday report, and that's Goose, G-O-O-S. Yeah, so I just want to say, you know, actually, uh, you know, Jim and I were talking about this on Sunday. We mentioned it on the Sunday report, you know, and Jim actually said, you know, set your alert to 3809. And I mean, if you were listening to the video and took notes, I mean, I think it's really important when you're listening to someone's videos um, and they're, they're talking about a stock for entries and supports and resistance, take notes. Uh, it's cannot say that you can memorize these numbers off by heart. It's impossible. And there's so much going on during the day that if you were to take notes and you're into these kind of trades and you like them, uh, you could set up your alerts on your desktop and you would have been alerted that goose trade is ready. 
and today was the go time. So the alert triggered and uh, we did alert uh, an option trade on this for the $39 strike and uh, people did take the trade and some of them made a quick 100%. Uh, some people are definitely swing trading into next week. And um, what I want to mention too is Canada Goose is opening up another retail space on a Toronto mall. And, um, you know, they're going to be doing some sort of like a, apparently like a little bit of a Disney environment where you go into the store, you have a little bit of an adventure and uh, they're kind of taking away the focus that when you go in, you're just going in to look at the merchandise. They kind of want to make it where you fall in love with the brand and you fall in love with their products. So this is going to mark Canada Goose's 20th and continues to push on their wholesale accounts. I mean, this is just fantastic what they're doing. I'm gonna have to take a visit here and probably do a little video of their new store because I know so many of you would love to see what it looks like. So I think I'm gonna definitely go check it out and I'll videotape it. But uh, Canada Goose is looking really nice. And uh, Jim, I really wanna hear about this because a lot of people, again, it's all about the brand. Like, you know, we talk about these brands like Lu like Lululemon and Goose. They're so expensive. And people are like, oh, my God, it's so expensive. But the quality, it's the quality. People swear by these jackets that it's so cold and they feel so warm. And that's why they love it. They had jackets. They last forever. Like, at least I know people, like I said, five, six years, they've had the same jacket. So they're a lot of money. But apparently the quality is phenomenal. I don't own one personally, like I said, but I got to check these out. I might even try one on and uh, maybe I'll do some, uh, take some pictures and show it to you guys in the next upcoming videos. So Jim, let's hear about this Canada goose because that goose was on the loose today and a fantastic alert that you gave everybody. So yep. congrats to those of you that took notes and took Jim's alert. You've definitely made money. You know, I think this is a wonderful concept. I bought probably, no, I bought jackets and the last one I bought, you know, I went in there not knowing if this is going to help me in the, the zero degree weather that I live in here in Missouri when the wind's blowing at one o'clock in the morning. So I've gone through a lot of jackets and it's hard to keep warm. This is a great idea to have the concept you're inside of a cold refrigerator and you get to try the jacket on and you can then know if it's going to be good or not. I think it's a wonderful concept and a thousand dollars for a jacket to the, you know, to the, the rich or to the wealthy better off than is nothing. I mean, they go out and they'll spend two or three grand on a, on a luggage and maybe use it once or twice a year. Here, you're going to be able to wear this jacket, especially like up in the cold parts of the country, you know, thousand bucks. I'd pay a thousand bucks for a good warm jacket. The last one I got was a car hard and it's kept me warm for about eight or nine years but i'll be looking into goose here maybe just to check it out might even fly up to canada and visit the store of the vegas so the chart right here we're looking at a year high i've read an article that they thought this thing was way oversold and it could have a good comeback we started to having the comeback last week we hit a bottom down there right around 34 bucks I called this out on the Sunday report. I said, you know, this might be a good one to jump into if it dips on down to this 3809. I'm going to pull up the five day chart and show you where we were at the time. Sunday, we were up in this area right in here. We closed right around the 3842. We did dip down below that a couple of times, which gave it a real good, strong opportunity to get in this trade. I was still sticking with that 3809. So, um, Today we had a we had a breakout on it on Monday where she jumped up and she broke out 3903 and then she pulled back that next day on a harsh you know how yesterday was with the market down and everything everything fell too and everything's bounced back up in reverse today almost all these trades have including Roku I mean we can just name them off and uh, so when the news came out of that new store she popped all the way up to almost 40 bucks which was my target. 39.94 we hit 30 we hit 39.94 and the target was 40 right now she's pulled back to a, the old resistance here at 3903 so this is one to keep on watch if don't jump in it right now 
maybe get in on the pullback right around 38. It can pull back a little bit more right here to around 37.58, 37.60. So we're going to chalk that up for the second low, low support. I'm going to just kind of move it around a little bit. I'm going to turn that into a red line. So we'll make that your second, but this first one's going to be the solid 3809. We need to go ahead and try to hold this 3903. If it holds and moves on up, we could break that resistance of $40 here in the near future. This is, would be a long trade for the winter time. You could hold this probably into January, and I think she'll bounce up. So that's Goose. And the last one we're going to talk about is another one that I 100% trade on it. I've not failed one time on this trade. And that's Roku. Miss Vegas? Okay, so, yeah, I was just, oh my God, I was just caught off guard with this other stock that's just going crazy after hours. Um, but Roku, I mean, you know, again, fabulous move here. And, you know, the stock has actually pulled back from its run. But, you know, the reason I liked it too on Roku, um, I definitely called it as a swing trade. Uh, I had a very strong close today. Uh, it had a nice high of day and then it pulled back and then a very beautiful uh, close. But the reason I really liked it, um, you know, they mentioned also today on social media that uh, Needham mentioned that Roku is the stock to buy for the streaming wars. And uh, you know what? We've talked about how we're bullish on Roku. Even though it has its runs and then pulls back, we still really like Roku. And you know what? Roku has a beautiful, nice future gap fill coming. So... I definitely have some swing trades in play. And uh, so far, I got to tell you, they're paying us already. So we're doing really well on these ones. The ones that we have, um, we have some 150 calls. And then we also have some calls that were in the 142 zone. So um, those are more uh, towards the in the money. But uh, yeah, looking really strong here and definitely a beautiful swing trade, looking for some serious continuation on Roku. And I really want to see this gap fill. I mean, I'm looking for Roku to go towards 160. Um, and also the analysts um, raised Roku to a street high to $200. Previously, they gave it $150. Now they gave it an extra $50. So these fat cats are looking for a Roku to go towards 200 down the road. So keep Roku on your watch and you may consider also for a swing trade or a longer term hold. But as always, do your own due diligence and do what's best for your trading account. And Jim, let's hear about this Roku beautiful chart. Yeah, we came in Monday or, and Brett, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all excited about Roku ready to play it on a little bitty dip and here comes Morgan Stanley they come in here and say it's going to dip down to 110 and I just had to laugh that off the Bears have tried to get this down to 60 they weren't able to do it now they're trying to bring it down to 110 they're still not able to do it I'm telling you this is the stock to be in and I'm and I've, I've been saying it ever since it was at 60 bucks and Vegas and I called this stock out I'm more bullish on Roku than I am in Netflix and Disney, I'm a little disappointed in after the movies, but there is a, a tug of war going on with, with the streaming right now. And Roku is my number one pick, especially because it's so volatile and the bears still think they can get this on a dip. If it dips, it's a strong buy to me, and that's Roku. So we're going to pull up the chart, and we're going to look at the yearly chart. This thing ran all the way from 26.30 and had a double top up here right around 167.71. It actually had a 176.55 high. They came in here and they tried to bash it down to 60. It, I called this stock out at 98. You can see where the support was on it right here. And I mean, I've not hit this thing once wrong yet. And I've traded it probably over 50 times. So she's bounced on back up again. And it's just an amazing trade, and we're starting to squeeze. We're getting higher lows, and then we had another one right here. So we got a little trend line right here, and I'm going to pull this up on a on a yearly, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I'm going to draw this trend line from right here to right there. So this stock can't go no lower than 131.20 right now. That's going to be the strong, strong support. 
it ran all the way from this 26 area and ran all the way up to and if you just continue that line it's just a solid trend line you see what i'm saying from the 26 from the bottoms we had there still runs up against that and runs on up towards that so this is still holding trend and it hasn't stopped and then when i called that double bottom right here or i called that support level down here at 98 that was a strong buy and i was fighting the bears on this when this was at 105 and I, it ran all the way up to that 130 140 area so i'm very very bullish on this stock now we're we're back up here again we had a little resistance level at 149.60 149.34 i need to change this right there is a little resistance or 149.04 then i'm going to see if i can find me another support level kind of right there is going to be another one then another one right here so we're going to pull this up now to a 20 day we're going to look at the 20 day one hour so i got three support levels got a low low down here around the 133 134 area if it dips on back down that ways or a strong buy at the 130 97 come out tomorrow if it pulls back i don't think it will i think it'll continue on up we need to break this resistance right here at 154.35. And we got a first resistance right here at 151. Look at that. We run up and hit that today. You see what I'm talking about right here? That's a support level. That's a support level right there. So we're going to pull this up to a five day, five minute now. We're going to mark this support level if it pulls back tomorrow right here over the red line that's going to be your low support somewhere in that area 143.60 that's going to be a strong buy i hate to see it go any lower than that your second support is going to be right here at 146.32 and then you have that 149.04 for your first the resistances we need to break is going to be that 151.81 up to that 154.35 now play this always on a pullback it will pull back for you don't jump in it on the chase let it pull back let it hit the moving averages of the 200 ema on a five day five minute that's going to be a strong buy maybe right in there too so i follow these moving averages for supports and i also use them as resistance levels so the low support that we want to look for is going to be 143.60 and the hard resistance is going to be this 154.35. you got a gap in between that. See what I'm saying? That's going to be a hard resistance. So if we get on up there, that might be a good place to take some profit and maybe hold a few shares or however you want to play it. And that's going to be Roku. And that ends our report for the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. And Miss Vegas is a very helpful uh, lady in the room so if you want to follow us you can go to our website we have a place right here where you can sign up and join the chat service it has the instructions on how to sit in it's a one week trial if you like it you can stick with us if not you know you can always follow us on these other places that we have we have a twitter page hit and subscribe to our twitter page vegas posts alerts in here all the time she posted j a j n c a today it ran real good today did stop her she went ahead and called that out actually she called it out on monday at 6 30 and where'd that run today miss vegas j n c e oh we had, j n c e we had a good I, you know, I was actually hoping it was going to go to like ten dollars but i mean it went you know it went all the way to um I went, to went to 980 went to 980 so yep. it's pulled back i mean it's down to like currently around eight dollars right now i still believe the chart's still bullish and uh could have another rinse and repeat a lot of people took profits i mean listen the trade came on monday beautiful run today so yeah you know there's good opportunities that's why we like sometimes the swing trade because you're not chasing anything you're already in the trade and you're kind of waiting even though we know waiting can be boring but it's very exciting today when this w broke out so yeah we you know, definitely one. swings are something to consider. Kern was another one she posted on Twitter. 
So yeah, there's a lot of useful information on here. Also, we have our stock twit links, mine and hers, and then we have Pinterest and also the YouTube channel. And subscribe, ring that bell for future updates, and we also have a little store if you ever want to buy any merchandise. Miss Vegas, you have any final words you want to say? No, I just ha want to wish everyone have a great night. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Please take notes on supports and resistances. It is only it is really the only way you're going to learn when you write things down as well. So I encourage you to take notes. It's found to be extremely helpful to many people that have messaged us. So we're glad that we're helping you and thank you for following and subscribing and liking our videos. We really appreciate you all. Have an amazing night and definitely see you guys tomorrow. This is the Aftermarket Report, December 4th, 2019. We love stocks. Thank you.